I've never liked you from the start. There's no place here for a monstrous pregnant woman like you. Go home. On my brother's wedding day, my sister-in-law showered me with insults. It was my dear brother's wedding, and I desperately wanted to be a part of it. But being spoken to like this, I can't stand it anymore. The situation took an unexpected way after I declined to attend my brother's wedding ceremony. My name is Elizabeth. I'm 30 years old. I do part-time work and household chores. I married my husband, Robert, who is two years older than me, three years ago. He's a buyer and salesperson for a major department store. Thanks to his refreshing looks, his sales performance at the department store is consistently good. We've always wanted children, and after infertility treatments, we finally received our long-awaited first child. I particularly wanted a child with the man I love, so I was overjoyed when I found out I was pregnant. When I told my husband, he also jumped for joy. Robert, it seems we've finally been blessed. Eh? D does that mean, yes, it's our baby. I'm finally pregnant. Really? Wow, I am so happy. I'm in tears. My husband thanked me through his tears and gave me a hug. Ever since then, we've been looking forward to meeting our soon-to-be-born child, spending each day with great anticipation. In the midst of this, there was another person eagerly awaiting my delivery. That would be my real brother, Thomas. He is four years older than me, has always adored me since I was young. That hasn't changed even as we've grown up and we still get along very well as siblings. He knew about our fertility treatments. So when I told him about the pregnancy, he was just as overjoyed as my husband, even shedding tears. I've heard that our mother back home was so overjoyed that it left her speechless. Be it my marriage or my pregnancy, my brother always wishes for my happiness. I loved my brother just as much. Two months after my pregnancy, one day, my brother called for me. What is it you wanted to talk about, Thomas? As I asked straight away, my brother scratched his head, looking somewhat shy. Well, um, I, I'm getting married. What? Married? You? Thomas? My brother went to an all-boys school for middle and high school and a university with few female students in the science department, so I had never even heard about him having a girlfriend. Even when our parents suggested arranged meetings to introduce a woman of their friend's daughter, he never took them up on it. I think he's not bad looking, but his quiet personality from back in the day meant he never had much luck with women. And now, all of a sudden, he's getting married? I can't hide my surprise. I bet you're surprised, huh? It's quite sudden, I know. Well, yeah. So who's the lucky lady? She's three years younger than me, so one year older than you, Elizabeth. Her name is Rebecca. We met through work. Through work? Well, you see, she's the daughter of a president of one of our business partners. <laughs> what? The president's daughter? That's amazing. That kind of thing happens, like, in the movies. As I gasped in surprise, my brother chuckled, saying, you're overreacting. Even though she's the president's daughter, she's working hard in her father's company. We're both getting older, so we thought we should get married soon. Seeing my brother so serious for once somehow warms my heart. My brother, who always wished for my happiness, has finally found someone special. Thinking about it, I felt happy as if it were my own situation. A month later... My brother brought his fiancée to our apartment. Nice to meet you. I'm Rebecca, dating your brother. My brother's fiancée, Rebecca, was beautiful and well-dressed, clearly the career woman type. She seemed like a person from a completely different world than me, I thought to myself. Nice to meet you, Rebecca. I'm Elizabeth, the little sister. Oh, so you're the little sister. As I returned her greeting, she looked me up and down. I felt as though I had been glared at for a moment, but perhaps it was just my imagination. However, it seemed my hunch was spot on. 
After that, she didn't talk much to me and focused her attention on my husband. Robert, you're amazing. Working as a salesperson in that long-standing department store. Suddenly engaged in conversation, my husband responded nervously. Uh, well, yeah. I haven't been able to go shopping recently. Next time I come, could you recommend something that suits me? <laughs> sure. Thank you. We'll be expecting you. This fiance, she was clearly treating my husband and me differently, and it seemed like she didn't want to flirt with my husband. However, I didn't want to ruin the mood, and more importantly, she was chosen by my brother. Just like my brother wished for my happiness, I want him to be happy too. I wouldn't want to ruin my brother's happiness over such a trivial reason as her being cold towards me. Despite my numerous concerns, I couldn't say a word. Since then, Rebecca started visiting the department store where my husband works frequently. That day too, my husband arrived home and vented his frustrations with a sigh. Rebecca came to my section again today. Eh? Again? I think she was there yesterday too, right? Yeah, I appreciate that she's buying a lot, but, but, even when I'm assisting other customers, she interrupts without any consideration. It's causing trouble for the other salesperson too. So it's a bit, you know, that sounds tough. According to my husband, she makes purchases worth thousands of dollars each time she visits. Although it's beneficial for the store, my husband was worried, saying even if she's the president's daughter, her sense of money might be a bit concerning. Several months later, finally, the day of my beloved brother's wedding ceremony arrived. By then, I was in the later stages of my pregnancy, with my belly visibly larger. It's my dear brother's once-in-a-lifetime wedding. I'm sure it will be a wonderful ceremony. I was excited the moment I left the house. I was wearing a maternity party dress I bought just for this day. The incident occurred when I arrived at the venue and headed to the reception desk. I'm Elizabeth Smith, the bridegroom's sister, and this is Robert, my husband. When I gave my name to the receptionist, she looked perplexed. Um, you're the sister, correct? Yes, I'm Thomas Harris's sister. That's strange. Then she said something unbelievable. Um, we were informed that his sister won't be attending. What? What are you talking about? I'm the groom's sister. Of course, I'm attending. Well, we were told that the groom's sister had other obligations and won't be able to attend. Wait a minute. There must be some mistake. Both my husband and I are supposed to attend. Mr. Smith is on the guest list, so he's confirmed the cancellation is only for you, the sister. Huh? I was speechless at this unexpected turn of events. Instead, my husband asked the receptionist, "Um, who informed you about my wife's absence?" It was from the bride. Rebecca did. Sensing something, my husband's face stiffened. He demanded, "Could you please call Rebecca here?" Soon after, Rebecca and a woman who looked like her mother appeared before us. To confirm the truth, I confronted Rebecca. "Rebecca, what's going on? I'm marked as absent." "Oh, is that so? Well, that's the situation." "Wait a minute. I never said I wouldn't be attending." Then she snickered and said nonchalantly, "I can't care less about your opinion. I mark you as not attending because you're a nuisance. You get it? Huh? What are you saying? To begin with, I never liked you, Rebecca. What? What are you? Just because you have a somewhat handsome husband and brother, you act all high and mighty. From the first time I met you, I didn't like you. Your plain face doesn't match your name, Elizabeth. You're a hindrance to my happiness. Understand?" I had thought she was cool towards me, but I didn't expect to be hated this much. I froze, struggling to find the right words. She looked down at me and spat out coldly, "Didn't you hear me? You're a nuisance. There's no place here for a big belly monster like you. So go home." I was speechless, but the shock didn't end there. 
following Rebecca, even her mother started saying things that were hard to believe. Rebecca is right. It's a nuisance having an ugly person like you at Rebecca's wedding, isn't it? It's already pitiful enough for Rebecca to be related to you. Facing me, who was turning pale, Rebecca piled on, go home now. You're in the way, so could you please leave? You're an eyesore, you pregnant, ugly woman. In that instance, the anger I had been holding back exploded just as I was about to retort. My husband raised his voice for me. What the hell are you saying, my wife? I never thought Rebecca could be this rude. It's okay, Robert. Let's go home. (laughs) Are you sure? I don't want to be here anymore. Let's go. I forcibly pulled my husband's arm and left the venue. (laughs) Hmm. Bye-bye. Rebecca and her mother continued to hurl abuses till the end. A few hours later, my brother rushed to our home. Elizabeth, Robert, I'm sorry for what Rebecca did. I asked my brother, who was apologizing remorsefully, It's not your fault, Thomas, what happened to the wedding? I asked the guests to leave halfway. I couldn't possibly continue the ceremony after what happened to my beloved sister. That's wise, but why did Rebecca go so far against me? Well, I I was surprised when I heard it too. Huh? Then my brother quietly opened his mouth. Rebecca seems to have been jealous of you, Elizabeth. Jealous? We get along well as siblings, right? On top of that, Robert is quite a handsome guy. Then you're pregnant at the peak of your happiness and she just couldn't stand it. What's that about? She was shopping excessively at my husband's department store because he's handsome. I was lost for words at such a nonsensical reason. Even though my brother seemed to worry about me, he continued the story. She was annoyed that more attention would be drawn to you who is pregnant than her own wedding. All the guests would naturally talk to you asking things like, how many months are you? Or, you look so happy. She couldn't stand that. I can't believe it. For such a reason? It seems my brother, who was busy with work, had left all the wedding preparations to her. Whenever he tried to say something, he was told, the bride is the main character of the ceremony and couldn't really interfere. Therefore, he had no idea that I had been unilaterally deemed absent from the event. I'm sorry that I've hurt you because of my actions. My brother apologized again, lowering his head. The next day, my mother asked us to come home, so my husband and I rushed back. There was Rebecca's father, his face beat red, clearly furious. With his daughter Rebecca and wife in tow, he looked quite serious. Hey, Rebecca, don't you have something to say to Elizabeth? When her father prompted her coldly, she clicked her tongue and threw a tantrum. Why do I have to apologize? I was a star of the ceremony. Will you ever stop this nonsense? Then her mother chimed in, seemingly in agreement with Rebecca. That's right. Why should Rebecca apologize? It's all this woman's fault. Unabashedly, Rebecca and her mother displayed their fury. Then her father, trembling, opened his mouth. You? Who do you think you're talking to? How dare you say such things to these people? With that, her father prostrated himself before us. I'm truly sorry for the terrible things my daughter and wife have done. Please, can you find it in your hearts to forgive us for this incident? No matter how much he bowed, there was no way I could forgive them. I told him outright, Do you think we could forgive you? We couldn't even attend our beloved brother's wedding. After being treated so horribly, do you think we could forgive you? But we're in trouble. If you don't forgive us, our company will. Rebecca's father was just apologizing solely to protect his own company. Rebecca's father runs a wholesaler company dealing with imported goods, and they have a business relationship with my brother's company. But after this incident, my brother was furious and asked his boss to terminate the dealings with that company. That's why he's begging me, his sister, for forgiveness, trying to resume business with my brother's company. 
I had no idea that my brother's company had so much influence. Even though Rebecca is a company's president's daughter, my brother seemed to have more clout in the situation. Her father, rubbing his forehead on the floor, apologized over and over again. But his underlying intention to protect his company was all too clear, which only made me more displeased. There was no point in talking any further. I told Rebecca and her family clearly, I will never deal with you guys again. If you're going to marry my brother, I'll cut ties with him too. Wait a minute. My dad is apologizing so much. Don't you have any empathy? I glared at Rebecca, who's lashing out at me. Empathy? How dare you, the person who caused this mess, talk about that? Who should be apologizing here? Don't let your father grovel. Your stupid selfishness has ruined my brother's happiness. You're not a good match for my brother. Know your place, you fool. After such outburst, I kicked Rebecca and her family out of my parents' house. Afterwards, I heard that my brother and Rebecca quickly called off their engagement. She was whining about not wanting to break up. And in the end, my brother had to hire a lawyer. He also arranged for a settlement paid to me. I didn't feel like accepting it, but my brother told me it's the least I can do to apologize. So I gratefully accepted. Rebecca's family's misfortune continued and her father's company eventually went bankrupt. Apparently, losing business with my brother's company, which was the backbone of their management, made it impossible for them to keep running. They lost everything because of this incident. Now that I think about it, they got what they deserved. A girl like her, who can easily spew such abusive language, surely deserves this kind of retribution. On the other hand, I have safely given birth and am living happily. My brother seems to have recovered from his broken engagement, and he comes to my house almost every day to dote on my daughter. Robert, can you let me hold her for a little while? Eh? But you were holding her just a while ago. Please. I'm leaving in an hour. Well, I guess I can't help it. <laughs> my husband and brother arguing over who gets to hold our adorable newborn daughter. Listening to their heartwarming conversation, I felt a warmth in my heart.